most important thing in an icon. And this is interesting in the history of, of the history of, 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 of uh, icons as in, in the world history of art. Eyes are so important in an icon because you're meant to look into the eye. The eye, the, the icon is a, is a door into heaven. The, the, you're meant to look right into the eye of the saint as you pray. So those eyes are very important. There's, sometimes I will work for a full day trying to get the eyes so that they are looking directly at you. Uh, what I try to achieve is that no matter where you move in front of the icon, the saint follows you. No matter where you are in the church, the saint seems to be looking at you. Again, this eschatological quality that the saints are present to us. We are present to the saints, that heaven is in our midst. The ancient way of painting, which was followed in the West up to the time of the Renaissance, is to lay on the darkest colors first and then begin putting on lighter shades, almost like watching a film develop in a tank of, of developing fluid from black into the lighter colors. You, the face, for example, of a Caucasian is, is, is a uh, olive green color. It's called a proplasmo in Greek. You put this olive, this, this olive green color on and then you begin layering ochres until you end up with pure white. Uh, you don't add shadows in. You leave the shadows as you build up the lights. And you do that with each of the various parts of the, of the image. You do the things that are behind first, such as background, and then you do clothing, and then you do the face and the hands. When I prepare a board, I put eight coats of acrylic gesso on it with a brush. I then sand it as smooth as a piece of ivory. In the meantime, before I've started working on the icon, I have prepared my cartoon, the sketch that I'm, I'm going to follow exactly when I, I do the icon. This sketch is based on research, reading about the life of the saint, trying to find symbolism if it's not a traditional saint who has traditional symbols, trying to find a symbol that brings out something about that saint's life that is in, in instructive and, and uh, il illustrative about who that saint is. I transfer my cartoon onto the gesso. I apply the gold leaf, which is a very dirty process. Gold leaf flakes, it's very thin and fragile. Whatever doesn't adhere to the sizing flakes off. And if you've already put paint down, those flakes stick into the paint and so you have a mess. So I put the gold on, I polish the gold. I seal the gold to protect it because gold is very soft. Then I begin putting my colors on.